Good afternoon, you tune in to Be Real Steve, God and Guns, Guns and Gods. I'd rather say God and Guns because if it wasn't for God, you wouldn't have money to buy a gun. He makes everything popular. Not popular, but... This your boy Be Real Steve, God and Guns, and the reason God comes before guns because if it wasn't for God, you wouldn't even be able to buy guns. So I just want to say thank you for tuning in. Uh, I hope everything is blessed and prosperous your way. I just send blessings in the mighty name of Jesus Christ all around the world to those who are listening in. Today is not about which is better. Today is just simply a gun review on two of the most popular guns in the world. You have the Springfield Hellcat, And the Glock 19 Gen 5. The Glock 19 Gen 5. There's nothing in there, just to let you all know. There we go. It's empty. It's empty, just to let you all know. Um. For years, I, I've been telling people, uh, stop sleeping on Springfield. Stop stop sleeping. Everybody say, well, Glock is the best gun. Glock, you can, somebody put a million rounds through a Glock. And da, 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 da. Let me tell you, and a lot of people may get mad, but this is my gun channel. Springfield is not too far behind Glock. I'm going to take a step, I'm going to step, I'm going to take a step further and say this. If not right there with Glock, I have pit, put many, 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 many rounds through this Hellcat and it holds up just as well as the Glock. Another gun y'all need to stop sleeping on. Stop sleeping on the Taurus. The P211, the, the, uh, the G2, the G3. Don't sleep on Taurus. These manufacturer companies have been making guns for so long. They have made so many mistakes. And in the process of making mistakes, guess what? We grow. We grow to the point of almost perfection. So a lot of these guns have been perfected. So don't 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 sleep on the Springfield. I'm gonna put the Springfield over the Sig 365. That's simply my preference. If you look at the, I'm I'm a man that loves a gun that shoots nice, feels nice, and looks nice. When I look at the when I look at the Sig. 365, I think about a winter dog with the small legs and the long body. The hand, the grip on the, the, the 365 is just extremely small uh, considering the rest of the gun. It just looks funny looking. So I like a gun that looks good, shoots good, and feel good. The Glock 19, uh, Glock 19 is one of the most popular, if not the po most popular guns there is out there, especially of the Glock line. Uh, they have really did it with the Glock uh, Gen 5. And the reason I say it that, they just added a few features that really just make it stand out. I have a lot of friends who are letting the Generation 4 go and really pulling closer to the Gen 5. Um, for those who want to know price range, uh, you can find a, a brand new Glock 19 uh, Gen 5 around $530, you know, $530. Uh, I found mine for 500 because, you know, I used to work at a gun store and some friends really gave me a good deal on this one. So I got this one for right at 500, no tax. Uh, the Hellcat, you know, without the uh, sight incisions on the top, I think I paid about 550 for this one. So, you know, you know, you're looking at a $500 gun, but you know, you got the money to pay for it. I tell people all the time, you can be a gun collector and you don't have to be rich. A lot of people say, well, I don't have the money to buy that. You know, if you have a constant job, find you a gun store or find you uh, a pawn shop that has at least a six month layaway plan. Hey, $15 here, $20 here, $40 here. $50 here, and before you know it, your gun is sitting in your gun safe. I, I love guns, but I don't love guns to the point where I'm finna go drop $500 down on a gun in one day. No, that's that's dumb. That's ignorant. That's why one of the fruits of the spirit in the Christian community is patience. Patience. 
If you can have patience, you can become a gun collector. You do not have to uh, just go drop a lot of money on guns, pay a little bit at a time. So here you go. Like I said, I didn't want to compare these two. I just want to let you know that they both shoot nice. They feel nice. I haven't got a chance to do a gun range um, tutorial video on the 19, but next week I'm going to get a chance to get out to the range. Uh, mag capacity, you got 15 rounds here in the 19. And like I said, you got 14 right here in the Springfield, which is wonderful because you can look at the size difference and, and, and tell that Springfield really did it with this. You know, the Glock 19 is a, a lot more bigger to me than the, the Springfield, but they were still able to muster it enough, enough space in this magazine where they can get 14 rounds in this magazine. Uh, so I don't know which one is going to be my carry. The, the Springfield been my carry for quite some time. I had the Glock 19 Gen 4, but I sold it. I regret it. That's what made me just go and get this one because I, I was missing it. So who knows? Both of them are great carry guns. Uh, both of them are reliable, uh, dependable, accurate. Uh, so we, 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 we don't know. But uh, like I said, go and check it out. For those who own guns, continue to own guns, but don't put guns before God. This your boy, Be Real Steve. And one other thing I added was the grip, grip, the grip right here. You see the rubber grip I added, and I got that off Amazon for like 14 bucks. I think it's pretty cool. They had a little green background that, that kind of goes with the sight here. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, I'll tell you one thing, the Springfield definitely turns more heads than any other gun I have had. Uh, it, it just, I mean, it's just, everything is right here. Just a small gun, everything right here. But Glock has always had that mature look. Glock never really had to do a whole lot uh, so not only does it shoot well, not only does it feel well, but Glock just has that mature look, you know, that grown man look. You, you can just tell that this is the grandfather to the young grandson here. Uh, it demands his respect because of his name and what it has done for not just America, but for the whole world. Glock is a great gun. Again, this is your boy Be Real Steve, God and Guns. Stay tuned for the next tutorial of me taking a Glock 19 Gen 5 to the gun range to see what this baby can really do. Thank you so much.